As people know, we've had um, uh, massive power outages, which was expected. I'd say this is probably similar to Hurricanes Irma and Ian in terms of the number of outages. I think we're up to, I think currently now it's about 3.4 million that are out. I think they've restored about 700,000 since the storm started. So just do the math. You're over 4 million have lost power since the start of this storm. Uh, fortunately, Florida, we staged pre-staged 50,000 linemen throughout the state of Florida. And so those folks have, are going to work. And it's not as easy to do when you've just had Hurricane Helene. A lot of these linemen, there's still hundreds of thousands of people without power in North Carolina, Georgia, some of those states. You know, Helene in Florida, we did 2.4 million restorations uh, in record time. Uh, that's not the norm. And so finding the linemen, given what they're doing now, we brought them in from as far away as California. Uh, but those folks are there. There's, there's assessments being done about what needs to be done. When you have down power lines, that's actually easy for them to do. They just put the pole back up, reconnect it. If their entire uh, system needs a rebuild, that will take a little longer. We don't know that that's the case in many of these spots. I remember in Hurricane Ian, which was stronger than this one, hit Fort Myers Beach. and. Uh, FPL substation on Fort Myers Beach right there, Ground Zero, was fine. They, they could have had people hooked up to power days later. Um, just the people's homes couldn't accept it because of the storm surge. So all that is going on, um, and we're, uh, we're, we're happy to have pre-staged those resources because I think it's really important that we'll be able to do. We're